Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So a couple days ago a buddy of mine, a local modeler here uh, that usually buys out a lot of people's estates as far as engines and airplanes goes sent me an email saying hey I've got a tremendous amount of engines I just got you need to come over and see them. So I was like okay well I'm always interested in seeing engines but it's hard to go over to his house and not buy something. So unfortunately I didn't go over there and not buy anything. I did buy a few things and the topic for today's discussion which I just bought from him is this. This is an Irvine 75. It's a replica of the Mills diesel engine and those that are into ignition compression engines or compression ignition engines aka diesel engines will know the Mills name very well. Uh, the Mills engine the original Mills engine was one that came out in around 1946 out of England and as most everybody knows Irvine is also an English company and somehow they managed to get the rights from the people that had the Mills name and was manufacturing had been manufacturing those engines they got the rights to manufacture some replica engines uh, in the early 90s uh, that only lasted a few years in the early 90s I'm not sure exactly how long but this is a new in the box Mills replica engine so I want to show this to you guys because I think I was super excited when I saw it I just my jaw dropped and I it hit the floor and so it comes with this instruction sheet and I am sure that I read in here already because this is not the first time it's been opened I've opened it but I have a feeling this engine has really not been handled too much pretty sure this engine was uh, yeah it was had been run at the factory this is back in the days when companies used to actually run engines before they sold them so we know that this thing did run at one time and here is the lovely specimen Now when I got this engine from this uh, friend of mine, this package, this plastic was just looked like it had been heat shrinked. I mean it was really tough to get this thing out the first time. That's why I don't think, I think I was actually the first human after packaging, production packaging to touch this thing. So let's get a closer look at this thing. Now here is the Mills replica engine. Hang on, in a little bit too tight there. Now Irvine did make two of these. They made a Mark 1 and a Mark 2. This is the Mark 1 engine and I can feel it's it's sticky and speaking of sticky it's totally gummed up. It won't turn over. So it had been run at the factory. In fact I can see here there's kind of a little drip of castor or whatever that's dried there. So this engine obviously can't be turned over at this time um, the only thing that concerns me about this is this little plastic fuel tank. Um, the needle valve is frozen also. The contra piston screw at least comes up. I don't think the contra piston moves. But so this engine is new, never run. Well, I won't say never run. It was run at the factory. But uh, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to just use some heat and oil to free this up. I'm a little afraid to do that with this tank. Uh, I'm not really sure. It looks like there might be some stuff in the tank too. I don't know how to go about cleaning this tank or anything about it. I don't want to damage this at all and make it unserviceable because I'm certain that no parts, spare parts are available for it. So I'm either going to heat it up or I'm just going to stick it in. Uh, some old glow fuel and just let it soak in there and hopefully that'll kind of free it up but anyway this was a quick look at a new in box India Mill or I'm sorry Irvine Mills 0.75 ignition compression ignition engine in fact you can see you can see some residue right down in there it's congealed also so quick look at this hopefully once I get this thing freed up I'll be running it because I heard and I've seen several videos on YouTube of these this exact engine running and they're supposed to be 
really great runners, really easy to handle. So look forward to seeing that.